Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Caroline. Um, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. just my little um, segue into the segment but thank you so much for joining me and if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe click the bell and you'll be notified when I post my newest videos and give this video a thumbs up let me know that you guys what you guys think of the video in the comments down below um, so I'm super excited I have not done one of these for like months um, I don't think I've done a book haul literally since the start of the year. Um, I have not bought any books this year and I switched to Kindle. So a lot of books I get, um, I just get for the duration of my read and then I have to return them because I only get to loan out 10 books at a time and this is also a reason why I don't like loaning books because I like books and then I want to keep them because you know like some nights I'll just be like sitting in my bed I'll be like oh do you remember that scene from that book? And it's like, yeah, oh, I want to read that again. And then, um, you know, you have to like re-download the book and then like scroll through all the pages just to get to that one scene. My headband's falling off, yay. Um, but you have to like scroll through all your pages just to get to that one scene and then you get to it and it's like, oh, that was good. But like literally took me half an hour just to go through that process to read a chapter, you know? Um, and a lot of the time I already have 10 books that I'm currently reading out on loan or like I want to read that next and I don't want to lose it so <sighs> Kindle Unlimited is very difficult. This is why I don't like borrowing books. It's just me. I'm weird. Does anyone else agree with this? Like is this a weird thing or is this just like me? Is this like normal? I don't know. Anyway, let me show you what I got. Some of these books I actually got for my birthday. Um, which was in June, so this is a really late video. Sorry. Um, I'm just a bit behind on my scheduling and my YouTubing and TikTok takes up a lot of my time. <laughs> if you haven't seen me on TikTok, Caroline Mashi, come check me out. I'm pretty freaking funny if you ask me. Um, but anyway, so let me like get into, I'm just like going through all the books I have. So um, obviously January this year, Bridgerton came out on Netflix, became the hottest show in the world, became the hottest book series in the world. Um, so I quickly went out and bought The Duke and I, which I still have not read. Um, like I started reading, oh, well, hang on, let me actually rephrase that. So I bought it once Australia got the new covers because I didn't like the old covers. They were just too old. You know, like, I don't know. I like the TV tie-in covers, actually. Haha! -ha. So, I got the TV tie-in cover. Um, and that didn't come here until, like, April. So, it took me a while to get this um, series, the first book. Um, and I didn't like the fact that it only came in, like, mass production paperback. That was a bit annoying. <sighs> but, yeah, so basically, like, I started reading it. I got to, like, page 26. And then I stopped reading it. I don't know, Tilly's down there. I don't know what she's doing, but I can hear her shaking her little toy. It's a bit worrying. Um, yeah, so I got to like page 26 and then I was like, eh. I wasn't in the mood for it because I'd really like hit kind of a different phase in my reading. And I'm a mood reader, if you didn't already know about this. Um, so yeah, so basically I bought the first book and then because I am... I don't know, an addictive personality, I have OCD, I need to have everything completed, otherwise I just sit awake at night knowing that I have one book missing and it just, just irks me, you know? Um, and so eventually, my favourite book place, which is Big W, <laughs> brought in the rest of the series. I'm still missing the last three books, so I'm working on getting those. Um, but I bought... The Viscount, who, the 
Viscount or Viscount? Probably Viscount Caroline. I think that's probably how they say it. Um, the Viscount Who Loved Me, which is Anthony's story. Um, so if you do not know about Bridgerton and you have not watched the ne Netflix series, basically Bridgerton follows the Bridgerton family and there is like eight kids. So it's perfect for a book series because when there's eight kids, that means there's eight books, which means there's eight different storylines. So people love it. Um, so the first book, the first season of Bridgerton follows the first book, which is Daphne, um, and just basically how she caught the Duke, Simon Bassett, and so that's why it's called The Duke and I, duh. Um, and then the second book follows the Viscount, so Daphne's brother is the Viscount, um, because her dad's dead, so he takes on the title, so her brother is the Viscount, so the second book follows her oldest brother, Anthony. Um, as he finds his love and so at the end of the TV series we kind of saw that Anthony loves someone but because she's not of the right breeding he can never be with her so it was very sad so this is kind of I don't know if it's like a redeeming book or what I haven't read it yet I don't know what Tilly is doing let's keep moving the next book is Benedict's story Benedict is the second brother um, and so he is kind of in the series we see Benedict has a different life to Anthony because Benedict is not the Viscount so he doesn't have the pressures that Anthony has so he can marry who he wants um, and he gets to kind of explore his passions which are in artistry and um, he gets to kind of go to like a boudoir kind of thing and like see naked people and it's not taboo like Anthony if he was there. Um, so this is his story in an offer from a gentleman. Um, then, I don't know what is wrong with her. Tilly? Tilly? Oh my god. Okay. Then in the um, fourth book in the series, obviously if you are following, I'm not going to spoil who and what this is about, but this is Second Chance Love. It's just so beautiful because Penelope has had a thing, has carried a torch for Colin. Really? What are you doing? Okay. Philly is here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm being naughty, Tilly. You have your camera? gonna be in my video? You're so cute. You're so cute. You've grown so much. I mean, oh, my headband just fell out. Wow, this is just like... I want to prove today. Okay, so basically, um, pretty much every single girl resonates. Well, not pretty much every single girl. Majority of the female population and male population resonates with Penelope. You know, having a crush on someone who you just love and they just don't see you as anything other than a family friend or just their little sister's best friend. It just freaking hurts, you know? <sighs> so this book is gonna be really teary and painful because know the feels, girl. Know the feels. Um, and then I have the next book, which is Eloise's story, which I think is probably gonna be my favorite one um, in To Sir Philip With Love. Um, just because I loved Eloise in the series. I just thought she was amazing. Um, she, Eloise, for context, is kind of like the sister that just kind of looks around and just goes, why is it a man's world? Like, why do men get so much more privilege over women? Like, women do more. Like, women can do a men's job and not complain about it. And they can do it ten times better. And it's just, I just loved her. Um, so this will be interesting because Eloise was, yeah, you know, She's the spinster sister. She had no intention of ever coming out in the balls or anything, so this one will be really interesting. Um, and so then I'm missing the last three books, which are Gregory, um, Hyacinth, and the youngest sister? I can't remember her name. But anyway, I'm missing those. Um, and then I got, I ended up getting this for my birthday. Tilly, what are you doing? Um, I ended up getting this for my birthday, which is kind of the Bridgertons Happily Ever After. It includes Violet's story. Violet's the mum. I thought this was really cute because it's like, like a, like a, you know, it's not, it's longer than a novella too. And it's just like, you know, the happily ever after of like all of them together and 
just what I like when I read like long series like this about following the different family members. Like it's really what I want to read. So I am excited about that. Um, and then I also for my birthday got. I think she wants down. Okay, you can go down, but no more running around. Um. Then for my birthday, I also got the goal. Um, if you know me at all, you know that I have a really, really, really soft spot for new adult romances, especially college romances, and even more so sports college romances. Write those, I will love it, guarantee it. Um, and Al Kennedy is pretty much the OG, one of my favorite, favorite authors. Her series, the off-campus series, pretty much gave me life at 17. Um, and so basically I've had all her books on my Kindle, but I really wanted to get them in hard copy. Um, so I kind of put them all on my wish list and whatever I got, I got. And I got The Goal, which is the fourth book in the series. Probably not my favorite one out of all four of them, but still, I'm excited. Um, she recently just updated all the covers to, to have women on them because in the past they had men with abs and some people didn't like that. So all the new covers are like this. That was a long spiel, but let's keep going. Um, I also was uh, gifted, or given, um, Neon Gods, which, if you have not heard me talk about it, if you have not heard anyone talk about it, and you like Persephone's and Hades, Persephone, Persephone and Hades retellings with a absolute king, this book is for you. Oh my God, I read this book because like it was like a book talk made me read it kind of thing. And I can honestly tell you, zero regrets, loved it so much. Oh my god. I actually wish that there was a second book following Persephone and Hades coming out. Um, but the next book follows Aphrodite's son and Persephone's sister. I'm excited because this book was so good, but I just wish that they continued on with the storyline because the characters were just spot on amazing. Um, so that's why I asked for that. I put that on my wish list. Um, because I read it on my Kindle and I just needed to have it in real life. Like I just needed it more than air. And so I ended up getting that. And the final book that I have recently gotten in this book haul is Catherine Parr, The Sixth Wife of Henry. It's called The Sixth Wife, but it's basically of Henry. So, you know. Um, six Tudor Queen. So basically, this book, I don't know. To be honest with you, if you were to ask me why should I buy this book, um, I have a really soft spot for monarchies, um, royal monarchies, the British monarchy, the top two soft spots I have are British monarchy and the Russian, the last Tsars, um, the Romanov dynasty, I don't know what Tilly is doing, but she's really annoying me right now. Oh my god, she's got a bottle. Um, the Romanov, the ends, the ending of the Romanov dynasty. So those are the two kind of royals, family, monarchies that I just go mad over. Um, no respect for me filming this this little telly. Oh my god! I'll show you what she's doing. God. Ooh, zoomed in. Now she's giving me her puppy dog eyes because I took her bottle off her. But I just have one last book to get through and then I'll give her the bottle back. And she can continue to have fun with it. Um, let's get back to it. So, um, so if you enjoyed the last tutor, you'll love the six wife. Yeah, what what 
drew me to this book? I have no idea. To be honest with you, is it because it was really thick? Not at all, because... Oh, I think I did the wrong thing. It looks like there was a book before this one. It looks like it follows each of the wives. Oops. Uh, ha -ha. Well, that's bad. Um, so I've basically bought a book that I need to buy another book for. Yay! Um, but yeah, so I don't know what I, what drew me to this book. Other than the fact that it spoke about one of his wives. I don't even know if this is like non-fiction to be honest with you. I think it is. I think it is. It's exciting. I'm excited to read it. I think any way that we can learn from, you know, why people did what they did and how they got away with what they did is really interesting. So, anyway, it's exciting. Um, rando by that one was. But, that is basically me. That, that is my mini book haul. I am looking forward to getting some more books soon. Um, but for now, that's all I have. And majority of it was Bridgerton. I still need to finish it off. I need three more and it's finished, which is exciting. I can't wait to finish that series. Um, but that's all from me for now. I hope you guys enjoyed my little book haul and I hope to see you all again next time.